trucks and police crawling over the place. So how do you know the plane hasn't already blown up somewhere over Long Island Sound? Because most assassins, once they get into their routine, never change the formula. And these two specialize in blowing up things on the ground. Now what are we wasting time for? We're already past six planes driving in here. We should be on that fight. Oh, no, no, not from what it. Robert said when he called and described the plane to me. And that's it right over there. To your right, that's it. And by the way, we're not going to defuse anything. It's going to go up. I, I thought we came here to save Anna and Robert, not to watch the right. We are going to save them. The don't, don't worry about it. We are going to save them. But that bomb has got to blow. I've got to make Elaine and her people think that they've killed Anna and Robert. Well, that's quite a risk with Anna's life at stake and Robert's as well, of course. We should be out there now defusing it. <sighs> Look, I want to save their life more than one day at a time. Well, it sounds like a pretty complicated idea to me, and complications become dangerous when you're dealing with killers. Look, you're the one that's insisted on coming along on this ride, right? Yeah, you're damn right. I want right, to come just, just back off, because I told you before we left Fort Charles, I didn't want you interfering. Now, this is my job, and I know how to do it. And besides, I know a few things about Kirkwood and Fowler that you don't. Such as? All of their previous airport bombings. When the plane blew up, all of the passengers were inside, strapped into their seats with their seat belts. They had no idea what was coming. Well, that's what we were doing here. No, I said all of the passengers were inside, not the pilots. Well, that goes to prove that the pilots were in on it. Exactly. So that's going to give us our edge. But I think you're blowing smoke. We should be... Get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. see us. Get down. As soon as the car stops, we should jump out and grab Now, you do not make a move until I tell you to make a move. All fueled, ready to fly. You folks didn't have any bags, did you? Yes. No, we're traveling rather light this time around. Your idea? Yes. Come on. Thank you. That's pretty. Hmm. Just sit there for weight and balance. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you don't mind riding backwards. No. no not at all. Thank Seat belt you. should be there. Fasten up, please. You got yours? Yes, I do. Exactly. Lovely. These seatbelts new. Government regulations. We replace them quite often. Really? Oh, comforting, I think. Mm. calling for increasing turbulence along the upper tier of the state. Talking about comforting, the weather doesn't sound too comforting. Don't worry, this aircraft's got a great heater. We can fly over the bad weather anyway, can't we? Of course we can go over it. However, this aircraft loves bad weather. You won't even know what's happening. You must be out of your bloody mind, only. We should go in there right now, neutralize that pile, and get Anna and Robert out of there safely. You know, Duke, you're getting very close to being more trouble than you're worth. Shut up and stop bugging me. I'm going to end up neutralizing you. Now, the pilot is still inside the plane. The man is not about to blow himself up, so they're safe. And how can you be so sure? Because it's my job to be sure. Still got the folding knife I gave you? Yeah. All right, good. Open it up. Start cleaning your fingernails and relax. Uh-oh. Here we go. You smell something. I came pure, I said. No. Something else. I can't quite put my finger on it. Don't lose faith in me, folks. But I left the navigation charts in the car. Oh, well, I guess we could go, but who knows to where? You got it. I'll be back in just a sec. Of a pilot leaving an aircraft with the engine running. Too many things can go wrong with the controls. It's a chemical I can smell. There's a bomb here somewhere. Check out the temperature gauge. This thing's gonna go up any minute. Let's get out of here.
okay? What okay, I'm going to check the front here. It's up. I hey, what about Start the belt? Don't worry about it. Oh. All right. All right. Wait a minute before we go anywhere. Shoes, socks, jewelry. Oh, yeah. get it. Hurry up. All right, come on. Come on. Get your coat off. Come on, get your coat off. No, I'll leave that on. This is stuff that's going to be quick. Out of here. Oh, Let's move. Let's move. All right, let's get that hell out of here. Let's move. insurance claim there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, do you want to make a career out of saving my skin? <laughs> well, <I'll> Robert's father. <laughs> Are you two guys are getting pretty maudlin' you for me. And it's sound asleep. Let's get the hell out of here. He's got the right yeah. idea. Come on. Hey, Anna, wake up, honey. 